Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code and today I'm going to show you how to create a Keynote style presentation using the Smart Animate feature in Figma and the Angle library. So let's begin. So let's start in Figma. And as you can see, I already set all the different assets that we will use in the tutorial. And I will leave a link in the description in case you would like to download this file. So we have four different slides that we will use in our presentation. And we need to add an iPhone mockup to each one of the slides. So let's go to library. And over there you may notice that I already installed the angle tree library. Let's click there. And what we need to do now is to add an iPhone mockup. So I will select this one and I will drag it to the canvas. Now let's place the iPhone inside the first slide. And for our concept to work, we just need to show the first half of the mockup. Now let's select the screen layer inside of the mockup and let's go to plugins. I will select angle mockups and then apply mockup. Then you will see that a new window will pop up. And on frames, I will select the frame number one and click on apply mockup. And there you go. Okay, now we are all set. And what we need to start thinking is how to animate the different slides. And we can divide it into parts. The first part will be to animate the vertical position of the iPhone. And for the second part, we can animate the colors of the different assets in the slide. Okay, let's grab the iPhone and let's place it right here. And this will mark the initial state of our animation. Then I will copy the iPhone mockup and I will paste it in our second slide. And in order to give another frame to our animation, I will change the Y axis to 188. I will select the screen layer from our mockup and then I will go to plugins. Over there, I will choose angle mockups, apply mockup, and then I will select the screen two and then apply mockup. Nice, so I will repeat the same process for the next slide. So I will select the slide and I will paste the iPhone mockup and then I will change the Y axis to 140. Okay, perfect. Then double click to select the layer where we need to add a new frame. Let's go to plugins and over there, let's choose angle mockups and apply mockup. Then let's select the frame number three and apply mockup. And there you go. So let's do the same thing for the last slide. Let's select the last frame and over there let's paste the iPhone mockup. Then I will go to the Y axis and I will change it to 40. I will double click on the mockup to select the screen layer where I want to add a new frame. I will go to plugins and over there I will choose angle mockup and apply mockup. And over here I will select the frame number four. Okay, nice. Now that we have our mockups ready, let's go to the slides and change some of the colors of the assets. I will select this small rectangle and I will change its gradient. And as you can see, it has a linear fill. So I will change the shade of grays for some shade of greens. I will select this one and I will choose this green. And I will select this other one and I will choose this other green. Let's close this and we can copy the color properties of the rectangle and use it somewhere else. So I will right click and I will select copy paste, then copy properties. And we can paste it to this line. So right click and paste properties. And also we can use this for the text. So I will right click and I will select paste properties. Okay, nice. Maybe we can tweak a little bit more on that. So I will select the text. I will go to the color and I will drag this until here. Okay, perfect. Let's do the same process for the rest of the slides. And I will just fast forward this part. These are the last steps and there you go. Now that we have the art, we can start working on animation. So let's select the first slide and then let's go to prototype. Over there, let's choose on click, which means that I need to click on the screen to trigger our animation. So the sequence that we want to build for the animation is the following. We want the animation to start in slide one. From slide one, it has to go to slide two, from two to three, from three to four, and from four back to one. And there are a couple of ways you can set up the path of the animation, and I will show you both of them. Okay, let's click on none, and let's choose navigate to. Next to it, let's choose slide two. Okay, perfect. So what we are saying right now is that from slide one, 
after it finished its animation, it has to go to slide 2. Then on animation, make sure that you are selecting Smart Animate. And instead of linear, we will choose Easy In and Out to give a really nice bounce. Another detail you need to look up is that for the timing, you have 1200 milliseconds. Let's do the same for slide 2, but with one difference. On interaction, we will choose After Delay. So it means that once the animation of slide 1 will finish, the animation from slide 2 will start. And finally, I will select the small white dot and I will just drag it to the next slide. I will just fast forward this part because we will be repeating the same process. Okay, cool. Now that we finished the animation process, let's see the final result. So make sure that you're selecting slide one and let's hit the play icon. So as you can see, the colors are helping us to create this effect in our animation. At the same time, we are using the iPhone mockup to show like some different stages of our app. So this is the end of the video. And if you guys like it, please give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Bye.